Hi guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at an effective and cheap solution to establish quite precisely the velocity, the speed, the RPM of our precious turntable. Are you ready? Let's take a look. Okay, guys, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this stuff. Stroboscopic discs, stroboscopic light, turntable speed. It's always a hassle and it's always expensive if you do not have a built-in stroboscopic light. Okay, there are other solutions. For example, I made a video, here's a link for using, for example, an application on your smartphone, Android, Apple, whatever it is. The results are pretty good. The results are pretty good, but they're not extremely precise. These are usually better if you want to have a little more control on the speed. And, oh guys, and I forgot to mention, if you're thinking to use a stroboscopic light application, they're not gonna work. Maximum they go to 10 Hertz which you can find the print out for 10 Hertz. It's just better to get something like this or just go then for the RPM app. But that's even better than trying to use the light because um, a, a, the, the light of a smartphone is never gonna be able to reach this type of frequency here. Okay guys, bye. As I said, there's always the problem that the stroboscopic light is too expensive. Well, now there is a good solution. The D60 by One Little Bear. Oh yes, a perfect little jewel that will help us from now on, all of us, at a very good price. Let's take a look. Okay, let's unpack this little baby. Here, as you can see, there is the different type of plug. Make sure you have the correct one. So let's see what's inside. Bit of foam we have some instructions this is very precious because it does give you some interesting indications we have our stroboscopic light obviously take it a look afterwards plus we have the plug this was opened and they put the EU plug for because we're in Europe but you're gonna find your own decent adapter what else is in here? Plus we have the stroboscopic little disc. So let's take a look. So, as we have seen, we have this little stuff here. Now, this may seem very small. Obviously, I already tested everything. That's why I know what I'm talking about. And I can tell you that this is just as good as the big ones. Okay, guys? So, no problem in using this. It absolutely will give you top-notch results. 50 hertz and 60 hertz, okay? 45 and 33 RPM. So, that's perfect. Plus, we have our nice stroboscopic light. And this little baby, even though the cost is not too high, in my opinion, it is a metal housing. Yep, this is metal. Very, very nice. And I already tried it. It works perfectly, but we're gonna try to test it now on, on a turntable and see how it works exactly. Very, very cool. Okay, guys, let's try to take a look at the one little bear in action. Here, we just set our RPM stroboscopic card with 33 at 45 RPM. And now we're gonna turn on the light. Here it is, ready to go. See, it, it looks like a normal yellow light. Now you're gonna see some strange effects because it is a stroboscopic light. And we're gonna start with 33 RPM. Okay, as you can see, the lines are moving. And now I'm gonna get close with the stroboscopic light. Ready? 
and there you go. As you see, the external lines appear to be perfectly still. Wow. As you move it, they start rotating again. Get closer, nice and stable. Okay, now let's go to 45. There we go. Now you're gonna have to put your eyes on the upper part, okay? Ready? Yep, there it is. Nice and stable. Then you go away, move in. Stroboscopic light, nice and stable. And I also tried it with another one, with 78, obviously perfect. And remember though, you have to set it, you have to have or 50 or 60 hertz. Okay guys, as you have seen, this little baby is really effective and we're just under $40, yes. And as well in Europe, um, below 40 euro. It's around 36 to 37, it depends. You can find it even cheaper actually. I'm gonna put the link here below in the video description, so if you want, you can get one. I highly suggest you to do that because if you want to check the speed, this is actually probably the cheapest and more precise solution out there. A good balance. Thank you again for watching and remember, music was born analog. Well guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.